Hey, this is Jim at Broadfield. Thanks for joining us for another Broadfield Liquid Lunch and Learn every Thursday at 1 p.m. We have a special guest on the show with us this week, Paul Riches from PTZ Optics. Hey, Paul. Hey, Jim. Thanks for having me. Uh, really excited to have you. We got lots of great stuff to share with the dealers today. Paul, I know I've had you as a guest on the show before, but, but I don't see a liquid lunch in front of you there. Did you, did you forget to bring the most important uh, prop onto set? <laughs> I know. I you know I have to check the fridge. I, I think we're all out of our. They 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 cleared me out last night. I don't know why. <laughs> well, that's what happens. The weather is getting nice and now everyone's going to hit the fridge, and <laughs> so that's one of the reasons why I grabbed Lost in Sip of Sunshine. It is a great way once you start seeing that sun shining here in New York. So Paul, I am going to enjoy a sip. I'll have a toast for you as well. Thank you. What the heck? My fridge is right over here, too. Let me just take a peek. Go ahead. Take a peek. Oh, they took it all. Oh, they, they cleared me out. Okay. That's all right, Paul. All right. I think we're getting, we are all set to go into the show. Olive is going to give me a thumbs up. Everything's running live to LinkedIn. We got the thumbs up, Paul. We're all ready to go. And, uh, you know, most of our dealers know you from PTZ Optics, and they'll know if they check their email inboxes from Broadfield that one of the big reasons why I invited you on the show this week is we have a real exciting new promotion that PTZ Optics just launched. And not only is it a great promotion when you're talking, especially into the educational market, but it's a great promotion when we're talking to our dealers because the fact of the matter is our dealers don't need to do anything. They just need to sell. If they sell any PTZ Optics, PTZ camera, between now and May 3rd, their customer can redeem by rebate directly with PTZ Optics to get a free PT80 webcam. Paul, I love this promotion. Thanks for putting it together. Hey, my pleasure. Uh, this, was, this is going to be a great one for education, but pretty much anybody out there getting a PTZ Optics camera is going to be happy. Absolutely. I think one of the things that you and I talked about in putting this promotion together is that in, in the classroom, you can now add a PTZ camera in the lecture hall and still give a webcam to upgrade for the teacher to bring home. So if they do have to have some of those days where they're doing remote teaching from a home office, that they can do that just as easily. And the upgrade that the PT webcam offers is really a pretty significant upgrade with a wide field of view. It's true. I mean, it's plug and play. It's simple. Everyone seems to love it. There's a privacy app on the front to, you know, make sure everything is private when you're not, when it's not in use. And we're seeing them used all over the place. Absolutely. Paul, there is something funky going on with your microphone today. I don't know if you have any other mics available, but every once in a while you're starting to get like a little Tron effect. And I want to make sure that when we go into the presentation that our dealers are able to hear you successfully. All right, let me switch to this space here where I might be able to keep a better eye on it. Okay, cool. Give me another audio test as soon as you're ready. Testing, one, two, three. Rock solid. That's awesome. And, and it's great, too, because we have a lot to go over today. Paul, one of the things that I know you wanted to talk to our dealers about is how PTZ Optics and HuddleCam HD really answers the question in the educational market of having these good, better, and best solutions. So no matter who you're talking to in the educational space, there's a good chance that we, and I say we, Broadfield, HuddleCam, PTZ Optics, have the perfect solution for you to not only set up an individual classroom, but several classes throughout the campus, including the auditorium spaces, the athletic arenas, the lecture halls, and everything in between. So one install can turn into something that literally has hundreds of products installed throughout the campus. And we're going to walk through some of those solutions today. Paul, why don't you kick us off a little bit talking to us about how 
the classroom has changed over the past year? Well, uh, certainly, you know, hybrid learning, distance learning, lecture capture has become incredibly important. And teachers are trying to reinvent the way that they teach. Yeah. And we are really, are we still getting an audio issue? No, audio is perfect. Thank you. Okay, good. Um, and they're trying to reinvent the way they teach. And it's new for a lot of teachers, but it's certainly coming down from the higher ups, the president of the United States included, providing yep. a lot of funding for schools to, you know, reinvent what they're doing. And that includes a lot of uh, audiovisual technology. A absolutely. I know Gary just posted an article on our company's LinkedIn page talking about how schools and house of worship, where 2020 was the year that really thrusted them into live production and live streaming. And now in 2021, everyone is going to be forced to evaluate those tools, evaluate those investments, and make some decisions on what we can do better and how we can grow and expand and continue to take this new technology and incorporate it into this new hybrid space that the world is becoming so familiar with. And Huddle Cam HD and PTZ Optics has that technology to enable distance learning. Paul, let's walk us through some of these different technologies that you guys are going to talk about today. Sure. So our auto tracking cameras are really popular for uh, higher ed, especially. What yep. they allow teachers to do is to not have to worry about the technology. There's an auto tracking camera in there. There's a microphone. It records U using software and hardware like uh, the Epifan Pearl, for example. It can be scheduled to start recording right when class starts. The camera follows the teacher. And Jim, they really love it. I mean, the word is getting out because we're upgrading old SD systems to HD. Yep. And so the students can now clearly see the, what's being written on the whiteboard. Uh, the optical zoom on the Simple Track 2, for example, can zoom in from up to 50 feet away. So we're turning these large lecture halls into places where students can actually see better on the recorded video, whether they were in person or not, on the learning management systems, the video that are, is being captured is just, it's very, very valuable for everyone in, involved. Absolutely, I actually have the Huddle Cam HD Simple Track 2 here on the table with me. And one of the things I love, Paul, is you just recently did a video on the Simple Track where in showing off the camera and you walking back and forth across your set, you were able to illustrate how just that subtle movement adds production quality where it is really going to engage with the students and the audience to the lecturer because now it, it just humanizes everything when you're starting to incorporate the natural movements of the war person walking back and forth across the front of the room from secondary presentation materials like the PowerPoint I have up behind me or a whiteboard up in front of the classroom itself. Yeah, I mean, engagement has been a huge issue with the transition to, you know, uh, school from home. Yep. And hopefully, you know, we're going to get the kids back into the classroom where teachers are trained and really used to engaging with students. But e even in the future, we, we see it's going to be a lot of distance learning, a lot of preparedness for um, the future for this type of technology to come in and making it engaging is, is something that teachers really appreciate because they're doing their job. Let's let the cameras and the video tech do their job. A absolutely, and I think that's where the investment has to start is with the classroom cameras. And when you're talking about the classroom cameras, you're not only talking about matching the right camera with the right optical quality and, and the right image capture, but also marrying that to audio and being able to present the materials cleanly and smoothly. And we're going to go over some of those different solutions that you have available, starting with this slide that you put together on the affordable setup. Paul, I'll drive the bus on the slideshow, but why don't you walk us through what we're showing here? Sure. So the Huddle Cam HD3X has been a top seller for us forever. And it's a 3X optical zoom camera, plug and play, USB stupid simple right you can use right. it with the chromebook you can use it with a mac you can use it with a pc and when you pair that with the huddle cam hd pro 
the cost to the end user is only $698. And they come away with a wireless speakerphone so they can bring in remote guests, remote distance learning can hear them. But they also have the ability to pan and tilt and zoom a little bit with this camera. Definitely sure. a step up from a regular webcam. This allows them to zoom into the whiteboard, zoom into a student who's making a particularly important remark. And that's the kind of uh, affordable technology we're seeing put into you know, K through 12. Yeah, absolutely. And what I like about this solution is it's really almost turning that classroom environment into the same way that you would a traditional corporate boardroom huddle room, where you're adding the optical capability along with that um, microphone to capture the audio and giving the teacher the freedom to move back and forth across their materials and to be able to do whatever they need to do to prevent, present those secondary materials to the students at home. Yeah, the other thing I like about this scenario is, you know, everything's going USB now when it comes to like Zoom, right? Sure. Or Google, when they're using the Google Classroom. Basically, there's a computer that runs all the software, and we got to plug in a camera and a microphone via USB. Yep. The teacher can likely be close enough to the PTZ camera at the front of the room. They can run a cable to their laptop, and it works very nicely. But with the speakerphone, you know, they might want to hand that to a student or put that in the middle of a table, and that we make wireless. So there's a wireless USB dongle you plug right in. And then you can put that speakerphone anywhere for the whole day of class because it has eight-hour battery life. That's great. And definitely a great solution. And like you said, with a combined price of under $700, it really is something that you could get into a lot of classrooms throughout a building and just a, a very affordable solution to get up and started. And now from here, we're going to step up the solution a little bit and introducing on this slide the 3X and 10X Huddle Cam HD camera options. Yeah, now this one uh, is actually becoming more popular for schools specifically because it's got the built-in microphones, which yep. gives it a wide beam-forming microphone array that can capture a small to medium-sized classroom, no problem. The only difference here with the one we looked at last time is instead of the wireless chat pod, we're going to be using speakers that are already probably in the classroom. Maybe they're built into the projector. Maybe they're built into the television. This solves the biggest problem, right? There's no camera and there's no microphone. So this is two in one, a single USB connection to the teacher's laptop, which really simplifies things, which everybody loves. And then um, I left my phone over there. Otherwise, I would, I'll, <laughs> I'll mute that. I super apologize. Uh, right. We, All right. Sorry. But I'll, I, that. Sorry about that. That's, quite, that's quite all right. I'll continue what you were saying along this bundle. But the fact that you're getting a USB output with the PTZ camera and everything's built in, it really is the perfect solution for the small to medium-sized classrooms. Um, I especially like this camera with that 10x optical lens because it is going to give you that wider field of view. It'll allow you to go to the front of the classroom and incorporate a larger whiteboard and some more of those secondary presentation materials uh, to be part of your classroom experience. Yeah, we had a school put in over, a school, an entire school district put in over 900 of these. It was a really uh, great deal for, for everyone involved because it's, it hits that perfect sweet spot where you can really deploy these uh, all over an entire school district at a great price point. Absolutely, and that's one of the things that I do want to emphasize to the dealers that we're talking to, is we're breaking everything down, talking about a solution for an individual classroom. One of the beauties of selling into the educational market is that classroom really becomes your proof of concept. Once you install a system that works, a system that the teacher can use easily and improve their own presentation materials, that creates a snowball effect where it can be installed throughout an entire district. And now talking about 900 classes throughout a district, that actually is a relatively small district when you look at some of the opportunities in some of the districts here in New York or Texas or LA or some of the major metropolitan areas. 
Yeah, and the, the K through 12 areas have not really deployed all of their cameras yet. They will. This is going to be the yep. year that it happens. Um, this little slide here is going to show you why they specifically went with this camera. This is the 10X camera. You can zoom all the way into the teacher from the back of the room, but also capture all the audio that's going on as well. Which is great. And being able to capture all that audio really works well in a hybrid environment where maybe you do have some kids in the classroom and other kids joining from home by having the sound of the entire classroom and not just a teacher in the front of the room might, it allows those students who are home to be pulled into the classroom to be part of more of an active discussion. I agree completely. One thing I'll also mention with all those cameras, if the school is using Zoom, yep, right, pretty high chance that they are since Zoom is free for all K through 12 education. These cameras do support Zoom control with Zoom, and that happens in two ways. One is if the school has a Zoom room. The Zoom rooms have PTZ camera control on an iPad. Okay. The Zoom client, if it's just a regular Zoom meeting, that can actually give the students far end PTZ camera control. So students who want to be more engaged, they can actually take control of the cameras through Zoom. And some teachers are allowing students to do that uh, during different science experiments and things like that. That's a great point. And that really is a great aspect, you know, when you're talking about a scientific lab or something where um, the different field of view will really affect the impact of what the student is learning. And that's a great opportunity to get these PTZ cameras in there. So really what we talked about here is the Huddle Cam 3X at 399, the uh, 3XA at 599, and then of course the Simple Track 2, which is the auto tracking camera, which comes in at 2999. And again, a good, better, best solution, depending on what your school needs to put in front of the classroom and in front of the students themselves. Now we're going to segue over to the webcams because you've got some good, better, best solutions as far as the webcams go, too. So, Paul, why don't you walk us through the webcams, and I'll be your Vanna White, and I'll show them off on camera here in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, the great thing about a webcam is it's plug and play, sure. right? There's no issues with uh, it working with any software. The big, big, better, best difference here is we've got our plug and play, wide angle, run of the mill webcam. Yep. Then we've got the Huddle Cam HD Pro. Now, this is a 4K That's webcam right here, that yep. comes with a remote control. And the remote control allows the teacher to zoom in. I've actually got one here. It's a 4K uh, camera, but most teachers are only using like 720p. So they can zoom in about as much as a 3X PTZ camera. So it's pretty nice in that regard. Uh, if, a, if a teacher, you know, some teachers have their own credit cards, by the way. And so they might really want to upgrade their solution. It's, it's the one that they, they want to use. The best solution is we do actually have an NDI webcam. Those are great in the production and streaming spaces when you want to affordably stick, and I've actually got one here, a, uh, you, know, you want to stick an extra camera, power over Ethernet, right into your setup to get a separate view. And I think in education, in some scenarios, when they're in an NDI environment, they also would appreciate that camera. Absolutely. And one of the things that you touched on there, which I do want to emphasize as well, is you talked about teachers using their credit cards for the purchasing. The great thing about when you can go into a school with the story of it being affordable, and affordable especially at those lower price points, there are some magic price points at $1,000, $2,500, and $5,000, where different teachers and administrators in the building will have that P card access where they're authorized to just make those purchases for the classroom. And that's the great thing to know when you're involved in these conversations in selling to the educational market is finding out what that threshold is. It's amazing when you start pitching the simple track two, which is $3,000 with auto tracking. If you find out that that customer has a $5,000 P card limit, you've eliminated an entire barrier to purchase because now you're not going through an entire purchase order process. You're taking the credit card, you're processing the credit card, you get that installed into the classroom, and then you move on to the classroom next door. So definitely a great thing to mention as we talk about this marketplace. 
And now, Paul, you were talking about the Huddle Cam Pro cameras. What's great about the Huddle Cam Pro cameras is that 4K field of view and the EPTZ capability that that gives you. You can select an HD region of interest and create this virtual PTZ without the camera lens itself actually ever moving. Yeah, we're showing this in an art studio here in an educational environment, but uh, it, it's really happening pretty much, you know, you can use this in any scenario. The camera also features auto framing. So you pair the electronic pan tilt and zoom capabilities with an auto framing option, which will just keep the uh, teacher in frame at all times. So it allows them to kind of move around a little bit, move over here, move over there. And the camera will actually use that electronic pan tilt zoom to keep them in frame. And, and, the, and that intelligence is a great selling feature of the cameras. It, it just removes one more barrier of what the teacher has to worry about controlling during their presentation. You, you, you know, in the classroom, you want to focus on the material you're presenting, not on the technology that's necessary to present that material. Now, I know we touched on the HuddlePod Air a little bit before, but I, we can go over that in a little bit more detail here and the USB audio system capability and how this fits into the classroom. Yeah, so we have a single chat pod and a dual chat pod, essentially. Okay. They, again, it's again play USB here. So you can cover twice as much space with the dual chat pod, the duo, and they cover about 12 foot radius each. So that's about three meters. So, you know, one of these might be fine for a small classroom, but the, the duo chat pods might be better in larger spaces. Okay. Uh, we even have, uh, these can be plugged in to power. It's just a USB pow a power plug. So a lot of times the teacher will have one on her desk, just always plugged in. Don't even ever use the wireless functionality of it. Again, the second one is plugged in, and when she wants to hand it, uh, put it in the middle of a classroom or in a space, the second one is used for like her wireless microphone to give to a student. And absolutely, and also in the school environment and beyond the classroom, we're seeing these being used a lot in the board of ed meetings and in the community presentations. All of the, even like a PTA meeting has gone virtually because there's no reason to invite all of these parents and teachers into the building when all you need to do is convey the information. You can do that over Zoom, you could do that over Google Meet or whatever the tools are that they're using in the building. And of course, if you're tuning into one of these meetings from home, being able to get that audio clearly and to get the message is a critical part of having that be a successful meeting. And now, of course, we're going to talk about the automated lecture capture capability. And this is a feature that a lot of schools are talking more and more about. How can they integrate this technology and tie that technology into a management system that allows the classroom to go live when there is a class in session? And how can they remove that manual um, start the system up that is required of a teacher or an IT person, what other tools are available? So Paul, why don't you talk to us a little bit about that lecture capture capability? Yeah, this is an example from Case Western University who has over 20 of the Simple Track 2 cameras installed. It was a great uh, installation out there. I can't remember the reseller involved, but you know, these guys have a lot, of, a lot on their plate. <coughs> You know, they've got students, you know, at, at one time, the IT team was managing student camera operators, and they were just so glad to get rid of, you know, having to manage all of these students. And the cameras actually paid for themselves just by reducing the need for camera operators. But in general, you know, everyone's trying to automate this process because there's a lot of classrooms going on, a lot of classes going on. And how do we get all of that? You can't give the job to the teachers, so it falls on the IT managers. Sure. Echo 360 is a popular one, uh, but Epifan is another very popular one, and they've integrated with the learning management systems, whether it's Canvas or Kaltura or Moodle, and essentially the, the teacher doesn't even have to do anything. They just go through the learning management system as they normally do, schedule their classes, and when they go in there, they just need to know it's being recorded as soon as the class starts, and that's it. It's automatically published, and everything is available. In some scenarios, like the one we're looking at there, there's two video feeds. 
sometimes there's one video feed, sometimes there's two. Uh, the second video feed can come from the teacher's laptop. So you've got the presentation and the camera. Sure. And other times you've just got the camera. The important thing for most schools is that the students can see the whiteboard space and actually be able to read the notes. With the Simple Track 2, as you're setting it up, and we've got some great videos on this, you can set it up so that the camera always captures the whiteboard and doesn't zoom in too far to cut those notes off. Okay. And uh, that's a really good feature that a lot of people, a lot of teachers, they want to see the whiteboard, they want to see the blackboard as much as they do want to follow the teacher around. But as it's doing so, making sure that those notes are in session or in view. Absolutely. I'm going to take the opportunity for a shameless plug here and that Broadfield Distributing is a distributor for Epifan Pro Systems as well. And I'm glad that you touched on that, Paul, because one of the things that we love about the Pearl Systems is what they've done in terms of integration with the CMS platforms and the LMS platforms like Kaltura and Panopto, some of the top schools being used in higher education across the country. Epifan has done a great job of integrating their systems with that. And they just introduced the Pearl Nano which is the perfect fit in Coda that really would fit in well with your solutions. And as soon as we're done today, I'm going to reach out to the guys there and we're going to have to bring a bundle to market, Paul. This is a great opportunity. Yeah, it really is. And uh, so uh, now we're talking about the... Um, what, so you just talked about the uh, Case Western? Yes. And this, and this is available on your website, the full case study. And we're going to talk about that a little bit more, too, because one of the things that I've always respected about what you've done at PTZ Optics is the wealth of information and tools that you make available not only to the end user who's researching these different solutions, but to the channel for them to be able to go out and knock on the doors and, and leave behind the proper materials and information to help close those sales. Um, so just congratulations on how prolific you and your team are in getting some of these videos and case studies and other information out there because it definitely does help lead to the purchase. And that's going to give us the segue into the PTZ Optics cameras. You know, the Holocam HD are great, affordable solutions, perfect for the classrooms. They give you the 3X, the 10X optical zoom. They give you that USB input capability. But when you do need to step up beyond that to get some more of the professional optical capability, to get the HDMI, SDI, or NDI workflows, this is where PTZ Optics fits into the marketplace and has really filled this space quite successfully. So, Paul, why don't you walk us through the PTZ Optics cameras? Yeah, so, so schools are looking for, you know, reliable equipment that they can, they can put in and know that, they, that it's going to be supported. So we've known that. We've done very well with higher education, and the cameras are just rock solid. So we've actually upgraded our warranty to five years. We've got all, we check most of the boxes of what, what schools are looking for when they're really looking for higher-end productions, 3G SDI, power over Ethernet, NDI support. Uh, options all the way up to 30x and so this, these are going into auditoriums these are going into larger classroom scenarios where maybe there's a video switcher you know these are being used in in high-end installations where audiovisual integrators are putting in matrix you know switchers and things of that nature and the camera is just one piece of a larger puzzle but um you know so schools really appreciate um having a high quality piece of equipment like this that is still affordable it still comes in less than maybe a panasonic or a sony which might be a little bit above the budget of some of these schools absolutely and then we're talking about overall budget and the fact that in, in an auditorium a large lecture hall you do typically need to install multiple cameras in order to get that production workflow that you need so when you start adding a 30x and a 20x mounted on the side and you add two or three cameras in an auditorium at these prices it really makes the overall budget much more easily digestible and again hitting that target budget that allows the school not only to address the need in that room 
but to now also spread that out into other areas throughout the building. I remember taking a trip with you to a high school right over here in um, Queens, where they were using the PTZ Optics cameras in their basketball courts. And they were feeding that through the digital signage system throughout the school itself, just to be able to bring the kids into whatever was happening on the court at the time, which was a great way to promote the student involvement there. And that was just another application for where these cameras are being used successfully. And I think one of the reasons why is because they can be easily mounted anywhere, ceilings, walls. You have the full breadth of mounting solutions available. You even have the ceiling pole mount, which is, I believe, what they were using in that uh, gymnasium in order to get that camera getting the, the correct field of view. And of course, Broadfield is the source for all the PTZ optics cameras and the accessories and mounting solutions and everything like that. One of the things that we've really been working with our dealers quite a bit is to make sure that when they're working with these schools and classrooms, that they're bidding everything that needs to be installed throughout the entire project. It's not enough to just think about the cameras themselves, but now we have to start talking about whether or not network upgrades are required, whether we're going to use SDI cabling, whether we were going to use a ceiling mount or a wall mount, and by asking those questions and getting the right solutions on the bid just positions you as the dealer and the integrator with the experience to get them across the finish line with a complete system. And when it comes to those, uh, Paul has a great team of PTZ Optics that can help us out with that. We have Glenn Seaman, our workflow specialist, who can help you ask those right questions. So if there's anything that we can do to help spec out that full system, Broadfield obviously is here to do so. Uh, and it, it, Paul, here we are again talking about some of the room configuration and the learning management system integration with the PTZ Optics cameras. If you want to walk us through this slide a little bit. Yeah, and, and just to dovetail off what you were talking about just in the past slide is that uh, we have a new PTZ camera installation checklist, and that is available in the reseller assets that Jim has access to that he'll share with you guys. Just goes over every question so you can get it all right and uh, you know figure out every you know nut and bolt as we were talking about. But this slide here shows the USB connectivity of the PTZ Optics cameras. I will say most of our popular cameras are SDI and NDI yep. because of the market at large. But in the education space, USB is generally preferable. Plug and play works with Zoom, works with everything out there. You can't screw it up. And uh, this is a, another example of a two camera system. Now, yep. this one I do want to mention the reason this is actually using an SDI camera. And we still sell a lot of SDI cameras into education because in larger spaces, you need to run a 50 foot, 100 foot cable. And Absolutely. USB extenders have just burned everybody. They don't work very well. They're expensive. And good old trusty SDI cabling can easily be extended 100 feet and then converted to USB at the computer or capture space. Sure. Absolutely. <clears throat> and then so we this have slide to... uh, shows exactly that. The, yeah. the camera that's close to the teacher maybe goes USB. The camera that's far away uses the SDI cabling. Perfect. And then this is the auditorium setup. Mm -hmm. and, and here we're using SDI as well as the optional network management, which of course we can always upgrade to an NDI workflow uh, over the network as well. And now That's of right. course, I'm sorry, Paul, go ahead. Can't forget about eSports. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and, and that's what I was going to say. One of the big opportunities when we talk to the schools is a lot of the schools, especially in higher education, are seeing the investment in eSports and broadcast clubs. And they are setting this out, not only with the budgets that we talked about through the CARES Act funding and other technology funds that are available, but they're also appealing to their alumni networks and even athletic departments to put some investment into the technology for eSports. So let's talk about how your solutions fit into the eSports. 
Well, of course, the webcams are huge, and we're seeing a lot of esports centers also put in a side by side live streaming area. So sure. there's lots of computers for streaming. Those computers have um, webcams, likely, and NDI really plays big in there. So if you're under, if you know if you're if you're a dealer with some NDI experience, you can get rid of so many high end you know matrix switchers and video switchers and routers and just use NDI with USB webcams. And there's also an opportunity to put in a little live streaming studio where there's a student camera operator, a joystick, and a PTZ camera. Absolutely. And it really is, it's a growing, growing market. And when I say growing, I mean by leaps and bounds. I, I don't think any sport of any kind has expanded as quickly as esports has over the last few years and while there may have been some steady um, interruption in that over the past year, we expect that to be picking up again just as rapidly, if not even faster. And then, of course, we want to talk about your family of control options and the joystick controllers, not only for the operators, but for the students themselves. You know, it's interesting, Paul. One of the things that we found in talking to our dealers is that there always seems to be a generational appeal to how they're going to control the cameras. The younger students want to walk in with an iPad and they want to do everything on a touch screen. They want to open up Zoom and have the PTZ control. But getting them and including in the curriculum the ability to use a proper joystick controller and PTZ controls and something like the SuperJoy that I have here in front of me where you can program specific presets and work that in is going to teach them the best practices for overall production. So Paul, why don't you talk to us a little bit about some of your control options and, and those capabilities? Yeah, and I mean, even the slide that we, uh, the next slide here that you just you just popped yep. on, that was the school in the Bronx that we stopped by at. Oh yes, absolutely, yeah. You remember that? That's I the do. SAR high school there. And they're using a PTZ camera, and they've got a, a student uh, joystick controller there. But uh, the SuperJoy especially that just came out, the great thing about that is that it can control analog cameras, it can control IP cameras, it can control Sony cameras, Panasonic, Bird Dog, all of them, right? Yep. And in a lot of schools, they have you know serial cameras that are already out there. They've got old SD cameras that are already out there. And so the SuperJoy is a really great Swiss Army knife to make them all work together. And if you're a dealer and you're putting that solution in, you say, you know, we can still make those older cameras work. You know, you're, they're going to come back to you when they're ready to upgrade and they have more budget. Hopefully, they'll just upgrade all the cameras, too. Sure. But uh, it's, a, it's a great Swiss Army knife to fix a lot of problems, uh, or at least, at least accommodate all the different cameras that are out there. Because PTZ cameras have been coming out for a long time. Most of them are HD now. Um, but serial, IP, NDI, even, it's, it's a great uh, controller for that. And I do think students, you know, the broadcast clubs too, Jim, you know, esports is huge, but broadcast clubs have been around for 10, 20 years, and they're yep. always kind of trying to modernize. And I think this is going to be a chance to modernize. I think students are way more excited about broadcast clubs than they've ever been before. Uh, they're booked. They're totally full. They can't even accept any more students. And even though they're clubs, whereas, you know, esports is, is becoming a real sport with an athletic uh, funding, the clubs do have some pull to get some cameras and joysticks in there, and we're seeing it happen all across the country. Absolutely. Paul, I am going to have to let our dealers get back to their desk and run their business. Um, we can talk for hours about all the great opportunities and stuff. I do want to remind our dealers that all the PTZ Optics cameras do now have a five-year warranty. That is a huge selling point when you are talking about these cameras, especially bringing them into the school marketplace. Knowing that a company is going to stand behind it and support it with the five-year warranty is a big deal. And we alluded to it earlier about all of the different marketing materials that you have available. Uh, Paul, you recently gave me access to the new channel marketing tools. And in there, not only do you have specific sales sheets for education, government, healthcare, and house of worship, but you have all those sheets available for dealers to download and to help them get that conversation started 
and to build those bids and quotes to get into these sales opportunities and these scrolls. So I do want to thank you for putting this together. I am going to share all these materials with our dealers after the show. And I, I guess I'm going to ask you to leave us with any parting words of wisdom. Well, this is going to be a big year with all this CARES Act funding. So, you know, yeah. spend some time. This is the time to do it. April, May. Okay. Sure. By the time June and July hits, you know, that's when uh, we will not have any inventory issues like last year. Uh, so inventory is not an issue. I don't think funding is going to be an issue. It's just finding the opportunities. So go out there and let's, let's do some great things in education. Absolutely. And reach out to Broadfield, uh, 800-634-5178. Our entire sales team is fully trained and versed on all the HuddleCam HD and PTZ Optic solutions that we talked about today. If you need help putting together the quote for a multi-classroom or campus project, we have our workflow specialist, Glenn Seaman, who would be happy to help you out with that. And Broadfield is here to help. Paul, thank you so much for joining us today. Always a pleasure having you on. Cheers. Thank you, Jim. Cheers. And join Broadfield every Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you for watching this week's Broadfield Liquid Lunch and Learn. We go live every week to our dealers on LinkedIn at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Coming up, we'll be bringing you our guide to streaming with LinkedIn Live. In addition, we'll also be streaming a great webinar in the coming weeks on SanDisk Professional Storage Solutions. Tune in on our LinkedIn Live page or at news.broadfield.com slash live. Broadfield Distributing is a value-added distributor of live production, streaming, video editing, and storage products. We only sell to resellers. We are always looking for new dealers. So call us at 1-800-634-5178 or email sales at broadfield.com. You'll like doing business with Broadfield because we make it easy to 